to Shepard. Enter the password and receive a free gift. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. You know who I am, Kasumi. I'm not here to play games. I heard you were hardcore, Shep, but I figured you'd be up for some intrigue. Kasumi Goto, at your service. But you apparently already knew that. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. We've got a spot set up for you on the Normandy. Make yourself at home. Looking forward to it. Haven't done this kind of thing before. Big mission, saving the galaxy. I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. I have a feeling you know something I don't. They didn't tell you? And they call me secretive. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda, the best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad, something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. We'll see what we can do. No guarantees. Sure. But I bet you're dying to see what it's like to come along on a heist with me. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight! Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest-class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on here. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? 
Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. Can I help you, ma'am? It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? Our station commander is just beyond the scanners. Out and to the right. He can reinstate... You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. You don't change it. Anonymity's useful on my current mission. Sure, you're a goddamn hero. It's not like we have to worry about you smuggling guns in or something. I just put a block in the system. Officially, you still don't exist. And you won't get hassled by the security checkpoints. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. They didn't make much effort to confirm my death. I'll make about as much effort to tell them I'm alive. Fair enough. But if you have any friends in the Presidium Tower, they might want to know you're all right. I heard you and Admiral Anderson used to be pretty tight. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't the Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Yes? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined c so I could stay in one place and put down roots. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. 
We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. I need to talk to the Council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC Security Cordon. The Alliance Embassy has issued a travel advisory for human visitors to the Citadel. Would you like to hear it now? Let me hear the travel advisory. Due to recent adjustments to the Council, humans may find aliens on the Citadel less friendly than usual. Alliance citizens are advised to limit their time in non-human sectors. Group travel is strongly recommended. If you feel you are being followed or threatened, talk to any nearby CSEC officer, or contact the Embassy through the station network. That makes it sound like there are anti-human race riots going on. There have been 26 incidents of large-scale civil disorder aboard the Citadel in the past two years. Many non-human residents disagree with the Alliance-led restructuring of the Council, and wish a return to the status quo. That explains the tension on the station. Is the Alliance doing anything to calm the population? Any further information has been deemed inflammatory by the Office of Information Management. Be advised that your inquiry has been forwarded to Citadel Security. If approached by uniformed officers, please cooperate fully. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best.
Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs Outlets are owned by the Council Government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. You know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So you're saying I'm poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. What? No, I... Hey, everyone. This store discriminates against the poor. Uh, please, calm down. As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? Well, all right. But you still hurt my feelings. Please, enjoy your shopping experience. Two years since the destruction of the Destiny Ascension, planning for the fleet of the new Allied Citadel Defense Unit have reached another impasse. The Osari Republics has ceded its share of defense responsibility to the Turian hierarchy. Human? I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Thanks to your kind. We store off-site and deliver directly to ships. Customers never touch a gun while they're on the Citadel. Make as many laws as you like, human. We'll always find loopholes. I'd like to buy something. Then use the catalog kiosk like everyone else. Tell me about your services. I sell guns. I don't think humans need any more than they already have. I understand you sell hunting supplies. I'm interested. Why would human scavengers need guns? They only strike when their prey is weak. Like that time the Citadel was attacked by Geth and you killed the Council. As I recall, you had a fleet here to protect the Council. Sovereign blew right through them. Too bad your admirals didn't ask us for help sooner. At least you've got us here to protect you now. What are you saying? I'm saying that you're gonna help me by selling these weapons at cost. Because you know humans are the best defense this place has right now. Fine. You've got it. Now buy something and get out. Pleasure doing business with you. Go to hell. This is valuable. Looking for a little R&R, &R, Shepard? It's a nice enough place. A lot nicer than Cora's Den, anyway. I wasn't sorry to hear they never reopened after the Geth attack. What will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is... it's green. And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Anything else? Let's have another one. There you are. Anything else? Not done yet. I'm impressed. I've never seen anyone drink three of these. Anything else? Hit me again. How about we mix it up a little? This is genuine Batarian ale, uncut. Don't ask how I got it. I've been serving here eight years. 
I've never seen anyone have this and stay on their feet. Anything else? Do it. Okay, for you, something special. This is Krogan liquor, Rincall. You'll set off radiological alarms after you drink it. Should I pour you a quad? Hell yeah. Put more of the stuff in the, the thing more stuff goes in. Your funeral, sister. I can do for you? I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs, the Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Laosanese's gift shop. Where is that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Delea sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff tourists throw garbage in? No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a turian or quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the DeMaio flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You punched me when my questions hit too close to home. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Your thuggish response and the facts did the job, Shepard. Not me. Your bat, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension, sacrifice- I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. I knew this was a mistake. You think you can keep treating the press like this and get away with it? Check vid. Did we get it? Nice. A source reports that the attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress is being investigated as a possible terrorist attack. Shepard, you've recently been dead. Don't you deserve the quality and distinction of a traditional assault? Gracias. Alliance military officials are prepared to announce new weapons upgrades. The result of data obtained from the Geth attack. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'd like to buy something. 
Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. You know, I'm on a very important mission right now. I don't doubt it. The savior of the Citadel would get nothing less. And the problem is the damn bureaucrats. They won't get me the latest astrographic data. You can't save the galaxy with star charts from 2183, right? 2183? Why don't they just give you a slide rule and ask you to eyeball it? Exactly. That's why I need a reliable supplier who can sell me updates at wholesale. Wholesale? Of course, Shepard. Anything I can do to bring the fight to the Geth, you've got it. This looks interesting. What do you think? Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakara Ward. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made through our catalog interface. It's over there. I bet you don't make many sales. This ward isn't exactly the Presidium. Not a big market for expensive tech here. The Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. That's a noble goal, but maybe if you took off a few percentage points, sales would improve enough to offset the balance. I cannot hold a sale without permission from the District Manager. How about for one special customer with a large credit account? Someone like Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel. Oh, you're Shepard. I, I didn't even think I Well, you must get injured frequently on your missions. I could give you my employee a discount if it would encourage you to make a large purchase. That would certainly encourage me. Please, browse our catalog. Now what's this? Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakara Ward. I'm just proud. Come back soon, Shepard. This clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. Now available on video, the abridged version of Francis Kitt's award-winning production of Hamlet. Shepard! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. What did you want to see me about? I'll be honest. I was hoping the Council would be here for this meeting. I spoke to Udina. He never listens to me. Ever since he got the seat on the Council, he thinks the stars shine out of his ass. <laughs> what did you expect? I don't know. But he should listen to me once in a while. An advisor isn't much use if you ignore everything he says. They need someone like you on the Council to get things done. I'm not sure I have the stomach to wade through all the political bullshit around here, Shepard. Couldn't do much worse than Udina, though. All he seems to care about is public relations with the rest of the Council. He doesn't want to deal with the real issues. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? Cerberus seems to be the only group who cares about our missing colonists. I feel for those colonists, Shepard. But they went out to the Terminus systems to get away from the Alliance. We can't protect them, but you can. Or at least you're trying to, and I get the sense there's more going on here. 
The Collectors are abducting our colonists in the Terminus systems, and I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. Udina and the others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI in Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it, just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line, and I don't have much to show for it. The original Council was made up of a bunch of blind, stubborn morons. The new Council looks just as bad. It's up to you to stop the Reapers, Shepard. I can't even toss you a symbolic title like Spectre. Udina keeps close tabs on that designation. He's decided it's just an invitation to go rogue. Fine way to show gratitude for putting him in the big seat. I think I made my opinion of the Council's blessing pretty clear last time around. Keep it. Figured as much. But it should be yours to refuse. Doesn't feel like I'm able to give you the help you deserve. It's all up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? I got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I'll have to make sure to speak with the rest of the Council and let them know I had nothing to do with you coming here. You know they refuse to meet with the Commander. And you know they have good reason. There could be serious political ramifications. Anderson, I expect to see you in my office when you're done here. What an ass. I didn't mean to get you into trouble. Don't worry about it. Once Udina cools off, he'll realize he has to keep me around. Besides... There aren't any official records that you and I spoke, and Udina will want to make sure it stays that way. If I get fired, people will ask questions. So he'll keep me on and just sweep this whole mess under the rug. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Oh, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. How have the last couple years treated you? Working for Udina isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. 
That's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Saracino, leader of the Terra Firma party and former Alliance Parliament candidate, has pled guilty to tax evasion. He is in custody pending sentencing. That Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, what's up? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated. Terrified, but mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. I don't have time to babysit you, Joker. Find a way to deal with it. Yeah, reasoning with the intercom is not my strong point. Your problem, not mine. Thanks, I'll remember this. That's it for now. See you, Commander.